Welcome back to this episode, everyone. In this one, we start on the lighting. I got the second coat of blue on here looking good very nice the first coat uh, it was like a base coat now the second coat here had something really good to grip onto so that looks good now I'm going to start uh, with the interior painting of silver Now for these ones here, I don't need all the parts that I painted, just, just the ones where the lighting is going to go into. Okay, looking good. Nice and shiny. Gonna get a lot of light reflection. Very nice. This is exactly what I want. And also helps with uh, any light bleed through. And I went and did these here. Got this covered here for the landing bay. The Bassard collectors on the front there. Looking good. Now here, we are actually going to start on the lighting. Okay, um, I'm just going to get the, the sides here in place first. Uh, and then on the top part of the hull, have the lighting in here. Um, now you can see here, for these windows here, they're being blocked by this section here. i got to cut this out. So these aren't going to clip in there. Those, they're, that's all going to be gone. Because I'm going to have to measure out here where I need to cut this section out to be able to light up these windows all the way around. Uh, so that's the first thing I'm doing right now. Alright, for the first one here, I don't need to worry about it because it's already got an opening here. Test fit it here. They just need to be shaped just a little bit. Make them stay in place. Here, just gonna use a marker, mark where I have to cut. Oh, 
have stronger cutters than that. Okay, now I just got to uh, scour the bottom corner there. And then I could just snip it off. No damage. So I just gotta glue that one in place and just continue all the way around. And here we go. Looks good. Now I'm gonna start on the lighting these areas here to light up the primary windows and then lighting up these windows in here I'm using five mil whites LEDs I'm gonna put them fairly far away so that they get uh, the maximum amount of light dispersal. Now there is a light kit that you can buy for the ship, but if you're willing to fork up over uh, $300 for it, be my guest. Actually there's a uh, there's a lower end light kit as well as a higher end, but they're still both over $300. That's, that's just a tad bit out of my price range. So all these LEDs I got, I got from China for, man, literally pennies on the dollar. Let me see here. That one, this. Right about here. Now you don't have to be an electrician to put these in place or wire them up or anything like that. You just it's a little bit of common sense and patience and a little bit of study and practice and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. Now, there are like little tiny circles along here. I'm using these as guides as to where to place the LEDs actually for these wider windows I put one LED here and one just on the other side here to give even better coverage the ones back here probably not so much because they're not as wide as these windows are And still, uh, this uh, this ship, with all the lights, should only take a 6-volt power source. Um, the light kit that's coming in for the torpedo launchers, I'm not 
too sure about that one. Hopefully I can run it off a of six volt, but it probably might have to have its own power source. I'm not sure yet. So I just continue this all the way around. There you go. Now, for these windows here, I am going to install the lights here, but they're going to be <clears throat> cross lighting. Like a uh, light here, going there, there, and a light over here to light up. Uh, actually, when I get the lounge in there, I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to use three mil lighting in this area in here, or just in behind. I'll have to find out when I get it installed first. Okay, so I got uh, one of these uh, flatter LEDs here for the interior lighting, and this in here for the, uh, where did I put my bridge? Or the, there it is. So I put this on here. This will light up the back area that you don't see. And then this here is like the ceiling lighting in the uh, lounge area. And look through the yeah stay put stay put the uh, when you look inside there you don't see the LED at all so it looks okay so that's perfect that's exactly what I wanted there so the lighting for the magnetomic amplification crystal will be installed on the lower part of the hull pointing up um, the impulse engine lighting I'll put in here, uh, but I still have to do the pr finishing painting on the hull here yet. I'm just waiting for my paints to get here, and then we can finish off the lighting on the top. Okay, I'm just going to be putting on a regular uh, white color over top first, and then it'll be the pearl white over top after. So th this is just basically going to give the pearl white something really good to grab onto. Okay, here we go. Looks good. Very nice. So when I get my pearl white color, then that will go on over top and give it a really, really nice finish. Okay, I put these to the side for now until uh, my paint gets here, the pearl white. In that time, I'm going to be working on the officer's lounge here in the back. So I downloaded some photos of what other people did. Um, I'm definitely gonna be putting in the trees here and I downloaded this uh, 
computer generated image of what the color of the uh, the seating is and the floor and everything else that goes with it just so I have the proper color and to boot I am going to be doing the uh, recreational deck so I downloaded uh, pictures here from the movie and what other people did as well so I can get the proper colors I got the size dimensions and everything like that that I need and I'm gonna be putting this together as well okay so uh, what I need to do here is figure out okay we have got a bunch of these little nibs and stuff poking up here those are supposed to be bush bushes and stuff I'm gonna cut those out of there and I'm going to replace them. Um, I'm going to also have like somehow make like miniature tiny little people to go in here as well. I have an idea of how I want to do it. It's just they're going to be so tiny. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to cut these out of there first and then replace all of those with shrubbery. Now I'm not going to throw these away, these little bits here. I'm going to save those and they could be used like as like little sensor nibs for a galaxy, not a galaxy, but like a I don't know, any other kind of starship. Um, ooh, even that tiny one. I mean, all of these little bits that I that look usable, do not throw them out. Do it. I'm just going to smooth it right down. I'm not too worried about the uh, nipping of the paint and stuff. That doesn't really matter too much. It's, I just wanted to keep it from any light bleed through. Now, these two areas in the back here, they're, they're screens. So i got to have something in there eventually. Um... Okay, I got something here that I bought for doing shrubbery. Okay, now I got uh, this stuff here. I got this. And <clears throat> I got this stuff here. I'm going to be using uh, these here in the botanical gardens. Uh, along with these here uh, end scale trees for a train, for HO or N scale trains, train sets. So I'm going to be using these, but that's going to be in a bit of a future build. Um, so for now I can use this and this for the shrubbery in here. I think I can uh, snip off a couple little branches off of the, one of these small trees here to place in here. Um, but I want to get the painting done first before I put the trees in. So let's get that done. And you can see here, the floor is kind of a violet color. Um, and this here is kind of a, um, a light brown, kind of a rust color for the, uh, the furniture. And then a light gray for the pillow. So let's, uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, the flooring first. Well, it's not a perfect match, but that's the closest I could come for the flooring. <laughs> Fairly light.
looking good so far. Okay. Don't really need to worry about these areas because they're not going to be seen. So don't really need to paint those. Uh, next thing to do, let's see, I'm going to do the walls. I'm not going to worry about these sections here because there's going to be, those are like view screens. Uh, so I'm going to do the walls here. I'm going to do the walls with a light gray. Okay. Looks good so far. Looking good there so far. I'm just going to let that dry before I continue on. Okay, it's coming along real nicely there. Looks pretty good. Well, there we go. That's uh, pretty much it for the paint job. I just got to get the foliage in there now, and this should be finished well mostly now on the very back here with the view screen is gonna go I'm gonna cut that out of there and replace these with clear pieces and then put some kind of graphic on over top of that with light in behind so it's lit up now for the foliage here I'm just gonna snip off like a little tiny branch here with the foliage on there and then glue them in place all around in here I thought I had like little mini scissors I could use to snip some of this stuff off. And I can see this is going to be a little more difficult than I thought. But... Let's take a strand of that, wrap it around stump here cut off the excess strands okay Now we need a smaller bush on the far corner over here. Good thing this glue dries clear. color here too.
here. Mini scissors would really be helpful right about now. smaller actually let's use this one it's just perfect Looks good. Looks very good. Looks pretty good. Trees all in there. Looks nice. Very nice. Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. In the next episode, we are going to finish off the lighting of the primary hull and start on the lighting of the secondary hull. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. Also check out my website www.epicmodels.com and also my online store, the link is down below. See you all again later, bye bye. Thank you.